You probably clicked on this episode because you saw the title and you're like, oh, what agents need to know about, about interest rates or when are interest rates going to come down? I haven't quite decided what I'm going to title it, but something about it got your attention because you want to know, which means you don't know the answer. You need to know the answer. Well, that's you as a real estate professional, not understanding the shit. Imagine what consumers think. They need a lighthouse. They need someone to stand there and shine the light and guide them and advise them. Our value to consumers is in the guidance and advice, providing service. So right now, when they don't know what the fuck is going on, isn't there a huge value in a real estate pro like yourself who can educate them, who can walk them through it, who can give them some perspective, some guidance on what to do right now for their particular situation? There's a ton of value in that. We are absolutely seeing a shift. So we're going to talk about what we see today, what's actually happening. Our market's crashing. Our home price is crashing. Interest rates are going so high because of inflation. Okay. So a few months ago, the inflation number came out and it was over 8%. At the time it was like, holy shit, inflation's got out of control. So what does the Federal Reserve have to do, which is one of their jobs. The Federal Reserve really has two jobs to, to combat inflation and to protect the US dollar. Sometimes it's one and the same. They're like, oh my gosh, inflation's getting out of control. So they have to raise interest rates. Now they're not raising mortgage mortgage rates, they're raising the federal funds rate. Mortgage rates tend to follow those, but it's not a direct thing. So just because the Fed raises rates does not necessarily mean mortgage rates go up. They often do follow, but just know they're not the exact same thing. So the Fed says, uh, we need to raise interest rates and we need to do so aggressively to get this inflation under control. So that's why the price of gas is out of control. Price of food, the price of homes, cars, you name it. Anything out there, the price has gone through the freaking roof. And that is a problem. And it affects those who are the most vulnerable. Those who can handle those price increases the least is who it hurts the most. Inflation is an asshole. Inflation is a son of a bitch. So the Fed, the only tool they have in their tool belt is to raise interest rates. So they did that. They raised rates a little bit. Mortgage rates followed suit and got up into you know the, the fives and started to affect some of the demand out there. Some of the buyers started to not qualify for the homes that they wanted, or maybe they would only qualify for less home that didn't work for them. So interest rates will continue to go up. If you have buyers sitting on the fence and they're like, oh, waiting for the right time, waiting for prices to go down. At this point, guys, with interest rates at 6.8% today, and who the hell knows what they're going to be next week, next month. Let's say they're at seven and a half, eight and a half, nine percent Even if home prices came down a little bit, they're going to be paying so much more for the house. So much more. We are in an environment right now that you get absolutely fucked if you wait. The longer you wait to sell, the longer you wait to buy, the harder you get fucked. Interest rates will crush you. They crush the affordability. If you're a seller, as the market slows down, more inventories come on. We've seen three times times the inventory come on the market in Salt Lake over the last month or so. Three times as many homes on the market today as there were uh, one to two months ago. So sellers have all of a sudden a lot more competition and there's fewer buyers wanting those homes because interest rates are getting them out of the market. So the longer you wait to sell, you may be forced to get a lot less for your home than you would today. If you are buying, you're going to be paying a hell of a lot more for your house through the interest, not necessarily for the price of the home, not necessarily going into the seller's pockets. It's going to the damn banks, okay? the mortgage company. They're going to get all that money. The rising interest rates helps nobody. No one profits from that shit. It just hurts everybody. Make sure that you guys are doing as much content as possible. Send emails to your clients, do webinars, set up webinars to explain what buyers need to know in this market, what they need to prepare for, how to navigate it, what they should be doing, which decisions and moves should they be making in this current environment. Do that for buyers, do it for sellers, do separate webinars, make it free and just educate. You're going to get a lot of business and a lot of interest from that. Send it out to your email list, put it out on social media, promote it through ads, put it in your stories, get the word out. Out. While everything else is shifting, maybe you should. Now is the chance for you to put yourself in a better position to win, get around people, and have mentors and partners who will help you and want to see you win. Great opportunity right now. When everything's good, when everything's great, and everyone's just making money and selling homes hand over fist, it's very easy to be comfortable. Well, a lot of us are getting very uncomfortable right now. I'm excited about all the opportunities that are going to come. I understand there's a lot of agents, maybe you, that have no idea how you're going to survive the next few months, no idea how you're going to survive the rest of the year. I want you to know there are teams, there are brokerages, there are other models that you could that you can join that will give you all the support, all the training, all the mentorship and guidance that you've ever wanted. I believe right now could be the best time that realtors have had in years for not just getting new business, but for putting themselves in a position where you can be more profitable as an agent where you can pay less and receive more and have better mentorship, better partners, put yourself in a better situation, a better placement, put your butt in a better seat 
than you were before. These times where things slow down are great as long as you're an action taker. Fortune favors the action takers. So if you look at where you're at and you realize, oh my God, I'm paying way too much to my brokerage or my fees are this much, or I'm spending way too much on this lead gen platform that doesn't really do shit. And then you cut back on those things and you put yourself in a better position to where you're partnered with people who are already a few steps ahead of where you're at and people who have already been through a market shift and who can just hold your hand and guide you through it. That is worth its weight in gold. Those who choose to make a move and take action right now are the ones who are going to thrive. Those that sit around, they think, oh, business as usual. I'm going to do the same old shit. Things are going to be fine. I'll be fine. I really like my broker, so I'm not going anywhere, even though they charge you 40% or whatever the hell, whatever extra bullshit fees you have, your $1,000 a month desk fee just to sit in a cubicle. That's fine because there's more to it than just the fees, of course. But if you're unhappy with that stuff, Maybe now is the time you're looking for to make a shift. 